I soften. What I like to do today is play out points and then kind of coach you through the points. See some kind of tendencies that you have. When you play points, of course, it's not going to be the same as when you play a match, but right. it's going to be good training. I do this with a lot of my students, and uh, it's a good way to work on your game. And look what I'm doing here. I'm tying my shoes. You know what that means? Yes. I'm showing respect to you. This is, a, this is a sign of respect. I never tie my shoes unless I'm playing somebody good. And this is the ultimate sign of respect. My shoes are tied, and that means you're good. You're a good player. All right, so let me serve first, okay? Go again, go again, sorry. That's a beautiful shot, Safin. Normally I would say low percentage shot, but because you were inside the court, I felt like you could go down the line and open up. Very nice. You want to avoid leaving the ball half court, right? Because guys are going to crush it. You want depth. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the corners. You can go central, but depth is important. Height is important too. Nice, put away something, good. I like how you angled that volley off. Beautiful job. Then it doesn't have to be hit so hard because it's gonna shoot off the court at a steep trajectory. Go again, control that return. What was your mindset that you wanted to take a full cut prior to me serving or was this no, kind of- I was trying to get it back in play as deep as I could. Because the swing looked a little too long. Yeah, was it? Yeah, you wanna minimize two things because that was a first serve, flat hard first right. serve. You're gonna minimize your turn. So you're not gonna turn the normal amount. You're gonna turn less, half or one quarter of your normal turn. Yeah. And exactly the same thing with the back swing. Naturally, as you turn less, the racket will go less back as well. Those two things go hand in hand. So also, uh, quick movement, super, super fast. On the other end of the stroke, you try to finish it off. So apply some top spin, but you make the correction in the back swing. So try again, okay? That was a little too short right there. So don't reduce the swing speed. Like even though you're taking it back shorter, you're not turning as much, swing fast at the ball. And then you're gonna use all that pace that's coming at you. If you slow it down too much, if you like hold the ball too long in here, if you're kind of steering it, you'll slow it down too much. Try it again, okay? Okay, that return was better because you saw I hit a forehand from a little bit more defensive position behind the baseline. Let's try it again. I want you to be even more aggressive, okay? But remember, being aggressive without taking that huge take back, without taking the huge turn. That was a tough serve. Sorry, Safin. No! You hit your car. Twice! Double hit! You're late on that. Come on, get out of the way. Return is often about flexibility. Think of Djokovic, getting your body out of the way, making quicker body movements. Again. Beautiful return, Safin. Fantastic. And even better half court forehand. Very good. See, that shot right there has improved tremendously, right? You used to miss a ton of these down the line. Finish the return off. Finish it off. Oh, you missed it. Do you remember the one in the backhand lesson we had? And you asked me about topspin? Yep. And I told you that if you're making your flat backhands, it's okay to have a flat backhand. But if you're missing your flat backhand, right. you got to put topspin on it. Remember that? Yep. So even in your matches against Milan, I feel like when the ball comes fast, the flat backhand is okay. Right. You're kind of almost deflecting it. You use an incoming ball pace. It's also okay on the slice. Yeah. When you're returning a slice, I do feel like you get balls that are a little more floaty. Yeah. That's when you miss your flat backhand. 100%. So on those, apply topspin. Even though the ball's higher, apply topspin. Okay. Go, don't, don't do this, which you do normally, but go more 
more here. Turn the racket around on the other end so the butt cap is pointing to the other side. Okay, okay that back end you missed right there. I've been seeing that yeah. quite a bit. So you gotta put more spin. Very nice soften, very good. And you got to that drop shot pretty quick too. Yeah. Nice work. Missed it. That's more of a footwork thing there, I feel like. You didn't, you didn't move enough there. You feel like you caught it a little bit on the bottom of the frame. So it was more of an intensity thing. Again, ball with no pace there. Don't get nonchalant with those type of balls. Even though they look easy, they're not. It requires a lot of setup, a lot of intensity. Safin, when you got power coming your way, that's when you bunt. That's when you shorten your swing, you just deflect. That's what a one-handed backhand is beautiful for, okay? Don't take too big of a cut. Too many balls down the middle. Yeah, they give me those two. Too many balls down the middle, you gotta open up the court a little more. When you go through the middle, it's gotta be with more power. Because remember, at your level that you're playing, ball in the middle that's not hard enough, yeah. you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Was that planned or was it just accidental? That was just accidental. Okay, got it. Second. Yeah, don't fall for the fake kick. Come on, be ready. You fell for the fake kick. Oh, you had me there. Finish the back end more. You're still finishing here like this. Turn it around at the end, okay? And let's just see what happens. Did you fall for the fake kick again? Oh yes, Safin, yes! Okay, not bad, do it again. Second. On the line, good soften, nice. One thing I can advise you here, get that ball real quick, is to return slice with Topson for now. Yeah. yeah, stay away from using your slice. Why would you do that? Though? Because I think your slice still has some, uh, some way to go as far as the technique. Remember, there's often a problem where you're too bent in here, coming in too bent. Yeah. So there might be some forearm movement at contact. Possibly what happened there on that one. And your one-handed backhand is so much better. That's why I would hit 95 of your backhand shots with your regular backhand. Okay. Very strong, soft and nice. When it comes right to your body, what do you like, backhand or forehand? Okay, good. Again, soften, come on. Quick movements. That looked long. Was that out? Was that out? Really? Oh, you're not one of those guys that gives, that gives balls in that are actually out. I hope not. I hope you're not. I know players like that. Balls this far out and they call it in. Long, long, long. Again, same side. Here, last one and then you serve. Second. Come on, move your feet up. That was a short serve, we gotta go up. Soften, one thing on the return, man. High intensity, super high intensity. Your feet have to be on fire. Second. Beautiful job, Safin. Nice work. Let's take a little break. That was a little bit long here. See, where your flat back and hurts you, it's on the return to serve a little bit sometimes. Yes. Second return to serve. Second serve and from the corners. There, 
I would have put a lot more spin on the ball. You think I could have sliced it? Maybe? I wouldn't slice it because again, your slice is not at the proper level yet where it needs to be. So top spin back and more spin, more height over the net. That is mo the most athletic thing I've ever seen you do. Soften. That was amazing. You're getting better, man, fitness-wise. You see? You just got to keep getting better. But it was an amazing get there. You slid into it and great feel, too. Nice work. If you start hitting frames on the kicker, two things to remind yourself of. Stay sideways longer and throw the ball a little bit more right on top of your head. If you open up too much, you lose sight of the ball sometimes. You can frame it. That's the way to take care of business up at the half court. Fantastic job, man. Big improvement in that part of the court. Handing low balls, you're putting a lot more spin. You're going for the good targets, high percentage targets. A big improvement, man. Nice job. Nice work. Safi, you're tall. Remember to bend, okay? On that ball right there, get your back knee to the ground. You don't make that shot every time. I'm a little bit worried about the frame shots. Tell me how often you frame in tournaments. Is it frequent or not? More often than it should be. It's, I think it's more of a, it's a footwork thing. Yeah. It's increasing the adjustment steps, especially on balls that appear to be weaker. So keep moving, keep moving your feet, keep setting up perfectly. So much better those half court shots. Good job, Safin, man. I'm proud of you. You're showing improvement. So what I think on your serve, second serve is good. I'm happy with your second serve. What I noticed on the first serve is that the placement is not there. Your best serve is like the body serve. Right. You're sometimes hitting too much in the guy's slot. So what I would practice, I would set up cones, like right here, yeah. here. Set up cones here, here, and practice hitting the corners more because you're serving too many flat serves into the slot. Yeah. Uh, Apart from the body serve, that one's good, but you can't always serve in the body either. Next time you practice serves, set up some cones. Second serve is good, big improvement, half court, big improvement of directing the forehand down the line, inside in. Doing a lot better, you're moving faster, you're on the right track. Good work.